Any luck finding my sprats? Truly? Why, this is marvelous! And all safe and sound! Oh, Reginald, Philippa, Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn! I'm never letting you out of my sight again! Please, take this. It's not much, but it's the best I can offer for the safe return of my darlings. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. with it, you wretched contraption. Captain, I stand out here like a big, greasy thumb. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals.
Stay your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. It's procedure. Now, well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or how many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? gets all this space just to, to sign papers all day I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. 
We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. really need all the security. I have to go through three checkpoints just for
Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? That's right, you weren't here when it happened. Some UDL officers took him into custody. Oh, law, what did they take him for? UDL's been questioning anybody with possible connections to Phineas Wells. And, well, Tillman designed all those wanted posters. So UDL's interrogating Tillman? Ugh, that's disgusting. Can't believe I had lunch with the guy. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh. Oh. You know, I always have time for sprout mitochondria, as well as charming men who can appreciate the finer points of cell biology. Are we still talking about cell division? This is certainly a conversation worth continuing elsewhere, but I don't think I've seen you around, and I'm sure I'd remember you. In that case, I can get you into the lab. Consider it a favor you can repay later. Follow me! I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And he's on his own if he runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Holt. Easy. Hold it. 
right there. No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm going to need to see some identification. Sure. I've heard that one before. Oh, stop. Stop. I don't want to hear any more. Just don't let me catch you again without your ID, okay? What a pleasant surprise. Thanks to you, Reginald, Philippa, and the rest are up to their old games of deception and seduction. But what are you doing here? On the other side of the lab? Why, that requires a top-level clearance. After all, we're running low on the stuff. I really shouldn't be doing this. But you did help me out. Take this keycard. It'll get you into the hibernation lab where the remaining dimethyl sulfoxide is. If you're seen by any of the guards, however, I'm afraid I can't help. Good luck. Something's off, awesome. right? No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm going to need to see some identification. Sure. I've heard that one before. Oh, stop. Stop. I don't want to hear any more. Just don't let me catch you again without your ID, okay?
Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? I must admit, I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. It is going well, I hope. What? You mean it's just a sham they perpetuate so they can... dispose of the rabble? That's... that's... brilliant! To take the most burdensome members of our society and simply remove them. Oh, I'll never doubt the wisdom of the board again. Why, I had no reason to be envious at all. What a relief. And how else would I react? A vagrant such as yourself couldn't possibly appreciate the emotional burden this news has lifted from my shoulders. But regardless of your ignorance, I promised you a fee for your services, so a fee you shall have. What, because of the violence? They were just auto-mechanicals. But suit yourself, I suppose. In any event, while I'm deeply grateful for the peace of mind you've brought me, I will need some solitude to fully bask in it. So if there's nothing further... I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. Let's see. He picked the colors they included in Rainbow Chips. No one else wanted purple, but he insisted. Everyone loves the purple ones. And you know how the Cosmic Smokes logo has an eye in the middle of a heptagon? He said that one came to him in a dream. He was a true visionary. So far ahead of his time. I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful, and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's a simple concept. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? Put that thing away.
All right. How does this sound? I'm afraid I can't come down anymore. Spacer's choice dehydrated water towers. Just at hand. Now available in carbonated. Welcome, intrepid adventurer, to Prosperity Plaza, where the shops never close. Now, make your way to the bustling region of Emerald Vale. Prepare to be dazzled by the Vale's breathtaking lava flows, rated the third most impressive in Halcyon. Why can't something exciting happen around here? Oh, it means everything's running like Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a thing to say. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I think you're being modest. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. No. I imagine you were just trying to survive. It couldn't have been easy for you, stranded on an unfamiliar world with all your colleagues back on the Hope. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Wells is a dangerous madman. 
His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? Work your jaw on some spacer's chaw. Music to my ears.
Oh, you got that? something inside the walls today nothing for us outside those walls you ought to know that Hope you've enjoyed your trek across the breathtaking landscape of Emerald Vale, Terra 2's most fertile settlement and future breadbasket of Halcyon. Take a moment to enjoy this vista with a can.
can of Spacer's Choice Saltuna before you make your way to Mighty Scylla, Halcyon's biggest asteroid. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Exactly. You're a step. 
step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra II. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. You absolutely should. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Certainly. How can I help? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the Hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny.